in today's session of Divorce Court. When Melissa met Carlton, she knew right away that he was the one. But after only a year, Melissa says Carlton isn't the same person she married, and things have gotten out of control. You hit her in the head five or six times with an iron? It wasn't even five times, it was about two times. Oh, so since it was just two times, it really wasn't that bad? One time is too many. Miss Jeff. Babe, take him out of here. Now Melissa and Carlton face each other to end their violent marriage in today's session of Divorce Court. All rise, court is now in session. Maybelline Ephraim presiding. You may be seated. This is the matter of Melissa Sanford and Carlton Sanford. I'm advised that you've been married for six months, separated for six months, but it's over now. Why are you filing for divorce, Mrs. Sanford? Carlton became very abusive. Um, I was his constantly. You were his what? Um, he irresponsible, doesn't want to help out. I could sit here for hours and go on, but it's just... I got tired and I'm sick of it. How long have you been together? I know you were married for only six months, but were you together before you married? We were together two years. Before two years. Marriage. And in that two-year time, he was abusive? Well, the first time he ever laid his hands on me, I had gotten a cocker spaniel. All my life, I wanted a cocker spaniel. And when my mother died, I got uh, some money. So with the money, I was able to get a cocker spaniel. And I left the cocker spaniel in his possession one night and him and one of his friends were playing the game. And I left out for a couple of hours. When I got back, the dog was missing. We argued back and forth about that. Then and what the, happened during the, the next argument? day, um, I packed up, uh, got most of his things together so he could leave. And he didn't want to hear that. I was sitting in the chair. He came charging out of the room, bust me upside the head with the iron like five or six times, held my sister and I hostage in the house with the knives. Um, the Wait police a minute. came. Let me turn to Mr. Mr. Sanford. You hit her in the head five or six times with an iron? Yes, I did. It wasn't the five times, it was about two times. Oh, so since it was just two times, it really wasn't that bad? Yes, I did. So two versus five makes it all right? But it wasn't five times, it was two. It shouldn't have been done at all. But she exaggerated five times. He is lying. He hit me until he had nothing One left. One time but the is too many. And just because she was arguing with you over the dog, I had, I had one, that I, justified you picking up an iron and hitting her? No, it doesn't justify that, Your Honor. But that's Your Honor, why you picked I, up an iron and hit her? No, Your Honor. I had why picked did up you the, pick up the iron? If you let me tell you, I, you let me speak, Please I'll tell, tell you, Your Honor. Me. Okay, all right. Okay, like she was accusing me about the dog, about me had still stole the dog, I mean, hurt the dog, or did something wrong to the dog. Got that part. Okay, okay, yes, okay. I remember how I went outside and took the trash out. Okay, me and my friend, we had gotten to the place they were playing the game, okay. When she got back, she was like, well, I'm lady. I said, the lady should be around the house, okay. So I'm looking for the dog, you know, where that night, looking for the dog, because I don't know where the dog was. Cause he, the dog could have went out the house when I would have took the trash out the door by the side of the kitchen. I understand that. Okay, okay, that dog morning. dog is missing, so, so you don't we, know where the dog is. Okay, so, we, so I'm up looking for the dog. She's trying to cut me, was trying to get a knife, trying to um, get with a, with a door lock out of our bedroom. That she's coming at you with a knife, is that her, what you're her saying her to sister, me? Her and her sister and um, her friend, or a cousin. He is was, lying. Was in, the, was in the bedroom. Let him finish, I'm trying, please. I'm trying to talk. This is supposed to, I even hit her. You know what I'm saying? She don't want me to come in the bedroom to explain what's going on to talk over a situation that need to be talked Carl, about. Carl, I grabbed the knife because and I told Honor. you you was not going to sleep in the same bed with me that night because oh. you was too you was too irresponsible to take care of a dog. What did I need with you for you to get your things and get out? So he now, stop. It. You stop. You said because he was too irresponsible to take care of a dog, that justified you pulling the knife on him and keeping him from coming to bed? I told him... After I had said several times, Carlton, you are not sleeping in his bed, and he was determined that he was going to sleep in the same bed well, with me. is he married to you? Not at no. that time. Well, weren't you living together? Yes. And had you not been sleeping in the same bed? Yes. But why am I want to sleep with a man who was irresponsible and obviously had no, no respect for my feelings whatsoever? He done stood in my face for hours playing stupid. Like, he didn't... I, I don't know what a dog is. 
She now just you, disappeared. I didn't now know what you the dog didn't was. Want him At this sleep. time, he didn't sell to my intelligence. And no, I didn't want him in my bed. But the two of you had been sleeping together in that house before. Right. And you were living together as man and woman. Isn't That's that right, right, because he was treating me as a woman. And you were supposed to be married, or were you married at that point? We, was, we, was, we were engaged yeah. to be engaged married. Engaged to be married. And it's now his house as well. Is that right? And it had been for over a year, is if that right? He, no, I never really considered it his house because he didn't want to pay no bills. Now you If know, he had paid bills, I, yeah, I could share anything in the world with Well, I'm going to tell you just like I told him. The fact that he wanted to sleep in his bed and had not hit you or threatened to hit you, am I wrong? No. That didn't justify you pulling a knife on him either. I felt like it did. Well, you didn't tell me that part. You just told me about him hitting you in the head. Because that wasn't until the next morning. Had he not lied? Had he just admitted... But had well, he lied before? No, yeah, he lied before, but not about okay. something that cost me $500. Okay, but hadn't he played, placed it? <laughs> so it's the cost. That's right. I'm not, I'm not Rockefeller. I was not born with a silver spoon. When I spend $500 on an item, it is precious to me. I don't have any kids. That dog was like a baby to me. But, but he was playing with the PlayStation all night long and didn't come to bed. The PlayStation that I bought him. So that made you upset, too. <laughs> so that made you angry, too, right? Yeah. And was he working or you, you doing all the work? He, at first, he was not working. And when he did work, oh, he still didn't pay nothing. So you paying all the bills? All the bills. So then would you say that this loss of the dog just brought it all to a head? Well, yeah, I can say that. Please tell me that. I can say that. <laughs> okay. Help yeah. me understand and take me there. Why okay, did I'm... you hit her in the head with the eye? Because I had got frustrated. I'm sitting there telling this woman the truth, and she's not listening to me, and she, I mean, pulling knives on me in the room, ain't let me in the bedroom. Was there something else going on in your head that you were upset about? I was upset about because she had, I had lost her dog, and I didn't know where it was, and she was but upset with me. But is there anything me. that she had done to My you in the past? My wife put a knife on me, and, I, and I'm like, because her dog... Is there anything she had done to you in the past? Yes, she had hit me upside the head with a stick that, and brought a knot to my head. That's because he threw my TV and my VCR off the table. I ain't even sparks and fires and smoke and everything. And that's because, because I ain't you wouldn't let me out of the room. On. Do either of you, you've been hit upside the head with a stick. You've been hit upside the head with an iron. And, Your Honor, this justifies. And you both here to talk about it? I mean, I mean, Your Honor, this is why I even, ever put, even put my hands on me, listen. But why ever, did you ever, marry him after all of that? Please explain that to me. I'm dumbfounded again. Because it was the first time it had ever happened, and he, he swore to me on a stack of bibles it would never, never happen again. This two years before the marriage, you had several fights, right? Right, Mr. Sanford? He had more than that. <laughs> more than several? Yes. Why did you marry her? Because I love her, y'all. You, know, you know what I'm saying? I mean, this is how it all started off, y'all. Is the I'm definition of love beating me nah, inside the head? Nah. So you want this divorce? No, I don't, Your Honor. You don't want the divorce? I don't want the divorce because I love my wife. When Divorce Court returns, Carlton goes too far. It's over. I, I, I can't do anything about it, Mr. Sanford. She wants to end it. I'm upset about now. If you open your mouth again, I'm going to get upset. Ms. Jeff. Bailiff, take him out of here. Are you getting divorced? Do you need Judge Maybelline Ephraim's help settling a dispute? If you want to be a guest on Divorce Court, call 1-877-311-2222 or email us at www.divorcecourttv.com. Divorce Court is back in the case of Melissa Sanford versus Carlton Sanford, who are seeking a divorce after only one year of marriage. What are you doing in the last six months that you weren't doing in the last two years to deal with the fact that the two of you argue so much. Coping. What are you doing about that? Coping with life on life terms. Coping with life on life terms? Yes. Working, Sounds real paying. fancy, but it's not saying a thing. Well, what you mean? It's true. I mean, I'm working. But no, what, what are you doing to learn how not to fight? No. What have you done to learn about that? No. So what's going to stop you and Mrs. Sanford from fighting again if you were to remain together? He was trying to work it out, talk it over, or get a divorce. I, I keep hoping and I keep praying that one day I can get my Carlton back. Because he has not always wife. been that way. I feel the same way about before? Melissa. Before, I get, a I get a rose every other day. I get a dozen of roses, half a dozen of roses, money, dinner, whatever. He took, he was a man for me. And he then all of a sudden, he, after I say I do, he say I ain't. That's mm. not cool. Nah. So, so he nah. was doing better before you married. That's right. Nah. 
So it's you not, wish that like you could go start. back to be just yes, boyfriend, that's girlfriend. Right. No, not just that. I wish he would be the man now that he was when I met him. Mr. Sanford, if you were wonderful, you provided roses to her before, you took her out to dinner, you courted her, you treated she her start, like she you loved lady. her. She started letting other people uh, make decisions of her life. Uh, when was the last time you gave her a rose? Gave her a rose? Yes. Now you don't know what uh, it is? Uh, <laughs> Well, I mean, I, I mean, it's not like I'm getting, like I don't want to give her no rose. Maybe okay, I don't have the money to give her no rose. It's been, um, maybe about two weeks now. Maybe about two weeks. Yeah, two weeks. Yeah, 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 Force her to be with me. I can't force her to love me. But it's like this: as long as she knows, I understand. You guys have a saying. warped sense of love. I can't. I can't force. I can't force my sister to um, to stay with me. But I she can't force her to. to he I, I ain't trying picture. to stop it no more. He took you know? the picture, Judge. My mama died in November '98. Carlton left in sometime in '99, the beginning of '99. When he left, he t he just up and took a picture. He broke some mirrors in the house. He took my stereo system. What kind Things of picture did he take? He took this the picture, picture of Jesus. My mother's this picture, picture of Jesus has been in our house over 20 years. I have a picture I, I, right I, I here, y'all, no of mirrors. me. I ain't approximately I two or three years old with the picture hanging lying. in the background. Lying, the lying. picture has been in our family for over 20-something years. Lying, this picture Melissa. that you have in front of That's you? That's right. Did you take this picture, Mr. Sanford? Yes, I did, Your Honor. To his mother's house, and then I was yes, not going to give it back. That was one of those mini breakups. I'm not giving I, it back. Uh-uh, uh-uh. It wasn't stop. nothing like that, Your Honor. It what was, was it She like? thought I took it out of anger and hatred. No, Why did you take it? I took it because this picture was a special picture that a person that her mother, that I look at as my own mother. And when she died, she took a part of me. Is the picture of Jesus is special to you because you loved her mother. Yes. And it's like a memory to me. And her mother me. had the picture of Jesus, is that right? Yes. It was a wedding gift to my mother uh, before her and my father got married. Did anybody ever figure out why her mother had the picture of Jesus in the house in the first place? No. She Nobody probably was trying to practice some of his principles probably and live was. by him. She did. Are you doing that? Yes, I am. Are you doing that? Yes, I am. By fighting and hitting each other upside well, the we, head? We're not fighting and arguing no more. Yeah, I tried it all. I, I got, I've gotten saved. I went to this man and said, let's pray together. Let's go to church together. Let's do this. He'll go once or twice, and then all of a sudden, he won't go no more. He's back to the same old, same old. Nah, y'all. Since this last couple of while... Now, when you went back to the house, in her mother's house, and the picture was there, she put you out, and she said, it's over this time, didn't she? Like she said all the other times. Like she said all the other times, right? Yeah. Is that right, Mr. Sanford? Yeah. But you didn't believe it all the other times, did you? It wasn't, it wasn't like I wasn't believing in nothing. Because, you know what I'm saying, if she did put me out, Did you believe it I'm the other times? It, well, if she put me out, I'm going. But you believed it this time, right? I believe it every time. I believe every time she told me. Well, every time she told you before, you didn't take anything out of there? I mean, we wasn't standing in the house then. We wasn't standing when I left. But you had been staying there. We stayed at one time. And you stayed there one time. And she put you out. Okay, and she put me out. And you didn't take but, anything. But, no, I did not, because in fact, I thought somebody would at least try to know to fix the picture frame did or something. Did you ever ask them why are you all leaving that picture there? No. No. Is any other family member interested in this picture? My my baby sister. But not you. No, my, my baby sister and myself, yeah. So you back I, in your Once I got house. to the house and noticed that the picture was gone. And I still hadn't spoken to him for a couple of weeks after. I'm asking him, I said, Carl, I just want to know one thing. Why would you take mama's picture? And okay, I I'm that. ready to rule. And I explain. I'm ready to rule. Are you ready for the ruling? Yeah. You ready? Yeah. You sure? The judge gets tough while rendering her verdict. And an update on the case of Monique Jackson versus Herman Benjamin. When a person stabs you, cuts you, they're saying that I don't want to be bothered with you. Stay away unless you have a death wish. Divorce Court will be back in session in a moment.
Divorce court is back in session as the judge renders her decision in the case of Melissa Sanford versus Carlton Sanford. The picture is awarded to Mrs. Sanford. Joe, you want to give it to Mrs. Sanford? Hello, excuse me, Yon. Can I give it to Mrs. Sanford? He's giving it to Mrs. Sanford. If he, as far as it took it, I'd like to give it back to her myself. No, I, I don't think you and Mrs. Sanford need to have anything else to do with each other, at least not around this courtroom and in my presence, because it looks like something may happen again. I don't feel like Joe taking up my time for my bailiff, taking you to jail or Mrs. Sanford to jail, because both of you love to hit each other and waiting for the opportunity, and I'm not going to give it to you. As a matter of fact, I'm uh -huh. going to let one of you leave and then the other one follow. I'm not going to even let you leave together. But I didn't tell you to leave yet, did I? <laughs> the reason I awarded her the picture is that's a family portrait. Why family didn't show love for her? That's until, their decision. Until I got they can, it. You know what, Mr. Until I got it. I'm upset about it now. I you know, know you I'm saying? Because it's wrong. Because it's just wrong about it. In, in this court of law, <clears> it's just wrong about it. And you can be upset, and I'm going to give you a minute to vent. But when I start talking, if you open your mouth again, I'm going to get upset. And I guarantee you, it's better for you to be upset than me. You got everything out you want to say? Mr. Sanford, your last opportunity. I assume you do. Now it's my turn to talk. Don't open your mouth. I'm returning the picture to Mrs. Sanford because it's a family portrait. Her family has the right to decide what they want to do with it, which includes yes. leaving it hanging on that wall until that house rots, if that's what they want to do, because it belongs to them. Now, perhaps if you had asked, they may have given it to you. But I have good cause to believe that you took that picture so that you would have reason for Mrs. Sanford. You opened your mouth. You misjudged Bailiff, me. take him out of here. All right, you can have the picture, and you're free to leave as well, but I suggest you go out a different hallway than Mr. Sanford. And you, too, need to learn to control your temper and your violent behavior as well. Yes, sir. All right. Court's adjourned. When Divorce Court returns, an update on the case of Monique Jackson versus Herman Benjamin. If you already knew where he was, and you knew he was with another woman, and he had separated from you. Yeah. Why did you have to go see for yourself?